So, my name is Andrew, and this is my project on making a catapult, uh, specifically a mangonel. Um, it was around in about 400 BC, and the Romans used it, but it was popularized by the Chinese, and it was used up until 680 as a common sieging weapon. Um, so here in my fast forward, I have basically it's just me creating the base, and you'll notice I had to swap a log here because the first one I used was way too thick. And I also tried to use uh, traditional methods, but then I realized pretty quickly that that wouldn't be an option. So I had to use some power drills uh, for certain points. But for the most part, I did try to use uh, like saws and do it by hand. As you can see here, I, I actually tried three different ones, but stuck to the first one. And yeah, so the first two minutes or so are just a montage of me making the base. Um, I went through a couple of issues, as you'll probably see. Um, well, I'll, I'll explain it later on. Anyways, when I get to that point, uh, here is what I've got so far, just the base, really. And here I'm measuring the long arm and cutting it out. And so I had to add the string, but the ends were frayed, so I decided to pour wax on the end. And it worked, but it was pretty unnecessary, I'd say, overall. Could have just, like, wet it or something. And this is now what I have. And you can see I was having some issues. Uh, sorry for the bad camera work there. Um, it was kind of working, and it had the right idea, but it was popping out. So I've gotten this far. And what I've realized, since twisting it, it's not going to work, at least not very well. You can see it goes up slightly. Um, I have to separate these, kind of like how I added this block here. I have to add another one here. And that way, these, when they're wider, you might be able to see, it shoots up a lot better. So that it's not pushing up against these nails I've put in. Now I'm cutting out the support beam. So what I just recorded of me cutting is right here. I screwed it all in. So this is screwed in and this is screwed in. So now it's a pretty solid, sturdy base. The issue is, and you can probably tell, this is pretty much fully screwed in, right? I can't really twist it anymore. If I twist it anymore, it's just going to start pulling out. So I don't want to. And it's, well, it's fully twisted and it's not shooting up. So I need to figure out a way to have it shoot back up so I need to make this can't really get more tense so I'm gonna have to figure out something around here so before I had it set up sort of like this obviously the nails were down and this was stable and when I would twist it uh, it would just bend as if it was like a hockey stick so it would bend along the middle here but that's not exactly what I wanted to do when I first started to, to make this because I wanted the, the pressure to be here like a, like a torsion machine um, and this isn't, and so got rid of it, and I guess I have to try again. And so what I was thinking of doing is putting uh, two holes on one side here and one hole on this side here, um, similar to what I have here, but if you can tell, it's actually two holes on both sides. And I'm gonna ring the string around like this, but I'm gonna have one part of the string here and one part of the string up here, so when it twists, it pushes here and it pulls this so it's going to be stuck like that and then the spinning motion will hopefully provide enough strength for it to shoot back up if it's tight enough anyways but that's going to be pretty tough to do so i guess i'll uh, update you so i've cut the two holes here you can see the string looping around it goes all the way through and then through one big hole and hopefully i can tighten this and make it work so I put the crank here, which allows me to tighten in. As you can see, this is very tight, even compared to this one, it's way tighter. It doesn't even budge when I move it. But because I had it wrapped around that side and that side, now this part isn't going to be tied. And I, I knew that was going to happen, so I'll have to uh, blow this hole out and make it one big hole and then tighten it from there, which isn't a problem. Uh, and as you can see, if I crank this, 
it moves. And that's awesome. So I managed to tie both ends as tight as I think I can. This, this side's still tighter than this side, but that was kind of expected because of this knot in the way. It makes things a little bit difficult, as you can see. It's bent, and uh, actually, I think what my nail's are coming out. Anyways, um, let's give this a quick test. And it's already very tense. You can actually hear it starting to crack. I hope it doesn't break. And it kind of works. So let's crank it all the way. Let's just see. Sound very good. Okay, it's still a little slow, but uh, it's not terrible, not bad at all. Well, it's a sad day. The string broke. So now I don't know what to do. I found some cotton string in my basement, and so I tried to use that, and I guess you'll see what the results are after. So now with the new and improved strings, uh, it does work. It's actually pretty good, and, but uh, the issue is, if I was to spin this, uh, it's a lot easier to see the pattern as well. Not that that matters. Um, there is a lot of resistance but not quite enough. This will more so, if it was used in a, an actual siege, you would end up just dropping all of the, uh, the weapons on itself and it would turn out pretty poorly. So I need to fix that as well. And now if I crank it, definitely more uh, tense. And it actually kind of works. Now, of course, if I was to use my fingers to do it, it works very well. So, overall mission success. And it's actually a good thing that that twine snapped on me, because this is way better. So now I have to make the basket. Um, I've tried wax, I've tried staples, and none of it's worked. And so I'm going to have to cheat, unfortunately, and use wood glue. Um, yeah. This is now the stand, or the resting spot for the arm. I finally finished it. I just added... This piece here is the little bumper, so now it's officially a mangonel. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Now let's see if it'll fire. I've got a rock here. Um, my camera's about a little over a meter away. Let's twist this up. All the way down. Load in the rock. It fires. Now just out of curiosity, if I just pull it down like this, it'll probably be stronger, so let's try that. Definitely stronger, but I'm gonna see if I can twist it to make it even stronger and I'll update you when I get the chance. So I managed to get two turns around this one before it started getting really stiff and I wasn't 100% sure. Um, I got about one and a half on this one. So that is the end of my catapult. Guess that means the end of my project as well. It had a good run, it shot up twice and yeah thank you for watching